Hey there guys, as I promised you in the last video, today's video is the official start of the greatest project of the year, at least for me. It's a DIY truck camper mixed with a mobile utility kind of work shell kind of thing. Not exactly sure of the final designation, but I can assure you it's going to be one of a kind and uh, very likely it'll be heavier than what a pro outfit would build. But I think it'll work for me and hopefully you'll find it interesting as well. In this video, I'm going to show you how I framed it up and got it to this point. I'll talk about the uh, next parts of this build in the series. Uh, but before I do, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to the greatest metal shop in the world, Industrial Metal Supply. Uh, you can often find me there walking around in their scrap room like Rain Man uh, thinking about uh, projects. Uh, but anyway, they donated the metal you're going to see me using in this project. Uh, so I just want to give them a shout out. And if you get a chance, check them out online too. They've got great products uh, online as well as in the stores. So let's get to building. All right, so before I start cutting metal and welding this thing together, I wanna to let you in on my thought process for the construction of this camper. So hopefully the next few minutes will make a bit more sense. And that is that I'm gonna be building this in three separate horizontal sections. So I'll first start off with just a simple rectangle frame that will sit on the bed of the truck in between the wheel wells. Then I will build a larger rectangle frame that will sit just above the bed rails. I will connect them just with standard 90 degree angles and then I will build a slightly narrower and longer frame just under 10 foot that will sit over the cab of the truck and I will also connect those with just 90 degree legs coming straight down to this main frame and then at the end you'll see me start building the sides and doing the angled sections. Uh, so anyway if you see uh, the angled sloping sides you may be wondering how I got those angles. Well I simply just connected them at the end. I couldn't even tell you what angles they are, uh, but really this process is way simpler than most folks would think. And now let's get started.
All right, so at this point you can see most of the outer framing for this camper is complete. Uh, you may notice that I have framed in uh, the little bench portions that are essentially the bottom sides of these portions that uh, sit over the truck uh, bed rails. And uh, what I still have left to do is frame a little pop-up portion for the roof so I can be able to stand up in this because as it sits now it's roughly five foot. And the thing that I'm going to do right now though is add a doorway right back here and what I've done for this because I'm going to be cutting through this piece of tubing and uh, anytime you weld uh, all those welds they uh, put tension upon the metal so uh, what I've done is clamped a piece another piece of tubing on the inside of it so that when I cut through this it'll hopefully keep everything square as it sits now everything is flush square sits flat in my truck and I don't want to cut through this since it's such a big uh, structural uh, piece of the camper and have everything kind of shift. So that piece is clamped. I've already cut the insides of it and scored the outside. So I just need to cut through here and then I'm going to weld some uprights. That'll be the left and right side of the doorway. I'll add a little header and then, uh, I don't know, I got some other stuff to figure out. So let me cut that right now. and. Uh, It'll make sense uh, as you see me do it. All right, so you saw on that first one, it did shift a little bit, even with everything being clamped. Uh, but it doesn't look like it shifted too much. Uh, so right now I'm going to weld in the uh, vertical supports and then you'll start to see this doorway take shape. Well, after a whole lot of cutting and welding and grinding, you can see the final shape of this truck bed camper has pretty much taken its final form. As it sits right now, it is almost ready for paint with uh, one exception. I still need to uh, do the final detail on the mounting locations where I will be placing the jack uh, legs for this to be able to be lifted out of the truck bed and taken out. And uh, I think what I'll do right now is just give you a little bit of a walk around and uh, maybe cover some of the details that I might not have mentioned while you saw me putting this together. Starting off with the front section that cantilevers over the cab of the truck. This extends from the main body of the camper by about 47 inches on the low side. It's got a 45 degree angle up as the wind deflection aspect. And then it's about 34 inches on the top and 56 inches from side to side. And you may be wondering uh, with this traveling down the road with all the downward forces on this section, what I have done to help that keep from bending down. Well, that is what this piece of tubing right here is for. It's to take any of that force that is coming from here, direct it back up into the main roof line and to uh, potentially keep this uh, where this uh, support connects to keep this piece of tubing from bending I may add another piece of tubing on the inside of it just as a little safety net but as it is I don't think it's going to be a problem I have sat on this with my wife uh, standing on the back to keep it from tipping over and I'm about 230 pounds and uh, this did not deflect at all so i think it'll be fine and i never really plan on keeping anything heavy up here just be closed when i'm camping and uh, when i'm working on a job or something like that it'll just be lightweight stuff and moving back to the main body of the camper you'll notice this section is all open and that is because this is eventually going to be a tilt up roof it's about three foot wide by just under six foot in length. And I'm gonna weld uh, this out of aluminum so it'll be lightweight. Um, and that will allow me to be able to stand up here if I'm doing a camping trip. As it stands now from the floor to that point right there is about five foot one inch. So I can certainly move in there without any problems uh, just crouching down. But 
Obviously, if I'm going to be camping in there for a night, I might want to stand up, change clothes, do things like that. Uh, but that will come in a later video. And moving to the sides, you saw earlier that I framed out these openings on the front section of the sloped sides where the windows will go and that will allow for some cross through ventilation from side to side. And down below, I think I held the tool cabinet compartment door open uh, and it'll probably flip up, but maybe I'll have it flip down, I don't know, just yet. And the inside will be framed out to allow for a tool compartment. And then looking on the back, you may notice that this is a little bit offset and that is for a reason. It is to allow me to be able to take a few gas cans uh, when I go on a trip that will sit between the wheel well and the back of the truck. And when I close the tailgate, they'll be nice and secure. And then on the inside, again, this will be framed out to allow for that tool cabinet. And then I'll have some access doors also on the inside. And then over here, I'll have the same thing, but it'll be a little bit deeper. And then it'll have a flip out section that will serve not only as like a little mini assembly tool bench, but also a sleeping platform. And uh, if you're wondering about the access to the uh, lost space underneath or in front of the wheel wells, I'm also going to be adding uh, after I clad this in aluminum, some access doors here and here so that I can get to that uh, potentially unused space. And I think now I'll put it in the truck and see how she looks. Now that it's in the truck bed, you can see a little bit easier what I was talking about, being able to store gas cans underneath this section. This will store up to three gas cans, and then with the tailgate closed, it will secure them in place. And then if you remember back a couple of years with this little piece of aluminum, I had a folding tailgate ladder that folded out. I will reinstall that uh, so that I can be able to have steps to get in here. And this is recessed enough so that when this is closed, uh, the ladder is not going to be banging into the camper and I will have nice easy access in and out of it. All right guys, well I think that's going to do it for part one of this truck camper slash mobile utility workstation kind of thing. I don't know exactly what I'm officially terming it as, but I can assure you of one thing. It probably won't do either function to perfection, but that's okay by me. It will have been thought of by my brain and built with these two hands. And uh, that just brings me a lot of satisfaction. And uh, as my granddaddy used to say, it's better than a jab in the eye with a sharp stick. So it's gonna do more good than bad. Um, as for what is to come next, that will, or that was going to be the aluminum siding, the windows, doors, that kind of stuff and all the trim. Uh, but then I started thinking that I needed to build uh, some jack legs uh, that will support this, this uh, camper box uh, for being able to remove it from my truck and put it in uh, so it'll lift it up a little bit I can drive the truck out and uh, while I can move it around pretty easy as it is right now once I start putting siding on and cabinets and different things like that it's going to become heavy very quick uh, not overly heavy but it'll be beyond what I can do alone so that'll probably come next because I got to do some welding on the insides of those uh, thicker pieces of uh, metal on the corners and then I will paint everything to get it ready for all the siding and aluminum trim and, and stuff like that so uh, after that then I will do um, the windows doors the flip up roof all the cabinets inside the little flip down workbench area I'll probably have some sort of like slide out a wash station or something like that can't forget I'm gonna have racks on the top to where I can haul a canoe uh, or full sheets of plywood although I don't really anticipate uh, doing too much of that but I'll at least have the option um, and then I'll do all of the electrical inside with charging ports and some lights uh, you know exterior lights to where 
it's a nighttime, I can light up the area around here as well as the inside. And then who knows, you know, sky's the limit. Maybe I'll do a outdoor shower and different stuff like that, but uh, should be a fun project. I'm thinking seven to eight videos uh, worth and unlike my travel trailer project, which took the better part of 18 months to over two years on some of the aspects of it, uh, this one really hoping to have it mostly done by summer because I want to use it on some camping trips and big long road trips were taken. And uh, uh, that's pretty much it. So as always, give me a thumbs up if you like this. Hit the subscribe button for future similar content. And uh, I will see you on the, on the next one. God bless.